this, we're gonna have to. What is the third door mentality? So after going on this seven year journey, I realized on the surface, you know, Bill Gates and Maya Angelou couldn't be more different. At their core, they treat life the exact same way. And the analogy that came to me, because I was 21 at the time, was that it's sort of like getting into a nightclub. So there's always three ways in. There's the first door, the main entrance, where the line curves around the block, where 99% of people wait around hoping to get in. And then there's the second door, the VIP entrance, where the billionaires and the celebrities go through. And for some reason, school and society have this way of making you feel like there's only two ways in. You're either born into it or you wait your turn. But what I've learned is that there's always, always the third door. And at the entrance where you have to jump out of line, run down the alley, bang on the door a hundred times, crack open the window, go through the kitchen, there's always a way in. And it doesn't matter if that's how Gates sold his first piece of software or how Spielberg became the youngest director in Hollywood history, they all took the third door. Yeah, when I heard that analogy, I thought, whoa, okay, that actually really makes a lot of sense. Now, for me, that is quite possibly the most terrifying thing. Mm. Like going up to people and doing some of the stuff, like chasing Larry King down uh, through the grocery store and into the parking lot, screaming his name like, whoa. I like to think I'm pretty hardcore. I don't know if I would have had the gumption to do that. So you talk about the difference between fearlessness mm -hmm. and courage. What is that and how did you employ it? You know, one of the biggest and most surprising lessons I learned on this journey was that I just had this assumption that all these people I looked up to were fearless. You know, Elon Musk or Bill Gates, we just assume they, you know, have no fear and it's how they achieve what they've done. But what I've learned is that not a single one of them were fearless. They actually were filled with tremendous amount of fear. Mm. So while they weren't fearless, they did have tremendous amounts of courage. And the difference between fearlessness and courage is that fearlessness is jumping off of the cliff without thinking. Courage is acknowledging your fear, analyzing the consequences, and deciding you still care so much about it, you're gonna take one step forward anyway. Mm.